Accused of killing Indian fishermen, today both of them return to India to face trial. Well, the ending, this has of course ended days of a diplomatic row between the two countries. The Marines arrived at about 6 p.m., hours before the deadline set by the Supreme Court, the four-week deadline set, allowing them to return to, to India was uh, actually expired. Uh, they were allowed, remember, to go back to Italy to vote in the elections there, and that time has expired just hours before they came back. The Marines were then taken to the Italian embassy in central Delhi where they are going to stay till the time the trial against them starts in a special court. Addressing the media after the Marines re returned, the Deputy Foreign Minister of Italy said that the issue of death penalty was a fundamental question that needed to be addressed before the Marines returned. Now he also said that Italy had been given a letter from Indian authorities saying that there is no way a death penalty could be ended up. According to the Italian law, the death penalty is an extremely serious aspect. Let me explain. According to our law, even a foreigner, anyone from any country, who would be, in a way, tempted to be asked to go back to a country where he is actually being potentially indicted, and in that country, there is uh, the death penalty, the Italian authorities, by law, would be obliged to not allow them to go. Joining us live on India Reports tonight, we're joined by our foreign affairs correspondent, Mahasubki, also Vijay Kao, who's been in touch with the external affairs ministry to get India's perspective on all of this. Um, I'd like to come to you first. Where do things stand right now? The external affairs minister has tried to clarify, but as far as the Italians are concerned, where do things go from here? They've made a pretty hard stand. Well, uh, what I can tell you, Shiv, at the moment is that uh, the special court is going to try these two Marines and that's where things stand at the moment. It's been made very clear by India that the special court will be set up where this uh, matter will be heard. The, uh, the Stefan uh, de Mistura, who was here and addressed the media, also made it clear that they want the special court to be set up as soon as possible and trial to start so that uh, uh, justice is delivered in this case. So mm. clearly right now things stand at that stage. Uh, however, we do know and he showed us a letter where the Indian government has said that death penalty would not be awarded in this case. Uh, clearly, uh, th this was an assurance that was given to Italy uh, as far as Italy is concerned because they have serious reservations and concerns about death penalty as we just heard in that soundbite show. Absolutely. In fact, Vijay Ka also joins us uh, now. Vijay, what the Deputy Foreign Minister of Italy has said flies in the face of what our own External Affairs Ministry has been telling us all day. Salman Khushi said no deal has been struck, but now the Deputy Foreign Minister of Italy says that they were given an ex explicit uh, assurance that there would be no death penalty awarded to these two Marines despite being charged for murder. Exactly, Padmaja, and that is what happened when the External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid was questioned in, in this regard. He clearly skirted the issue. He tried to skirt the issue by saying that on a day they have got into a major agreement with uh, the Italians. They would not like to uh, irk up another, stir up another disagreement rather uh, at this point in time. And he has said that whatever the Indian government has said or done has been well documented. The Attorney General has been asked to document this and to, and to present the same before the Supreme Court when it reassembles. What what was also uh, questionable and what the, what the external affairs minister was also questioned on was the uh, very very visible covert manner in which the uh, in which India uh, has been dealing with these Italian Marines ever since they've arrived whether it was the secret manner in which they were whisked away from the airport or whether it was the, uh, the police station where they were taken or whether even when it came to the uh, point of uh, the, the, the Italian foreign minister deputy foreign minister coming and okay. meeting the external affairs minister the gate which they used was a completely different gate from which usual usual dignitaries arrive uh, mm. to to which the external affairs minister again said that there is there there is no such thing and he has no information uh, in okay. this regard clearly uh, there has been a lot of secrecy that is that is very very visible and the government is trying to evade questions on the same